it's 1-0. This is a semi-final game at Fort Hamilton, and the host, Fort Hamilton, is playing uh, Brooklyn Technical High School, and this is game one. And the other pool, game two. And the other pool of semifinals, game two. Academy of American Studies is playing Seward Park, and that match is going on at the exact same time as we speak, but this one seems to be the more intriguing one, as the score is 2-1. Going outside, slow shoot block covered off the net and lets it drop. Slow shoot, ball's dug. Free ball. Outside again, and then the fourth attempt, ball's dug. Going outside, tip. Oh, nice dig. Back set, what was that? The battle for Brooklyn supremacy is underway. Fort Hamilton, Brooklyn Tech. Fort Hamilton, winners of the Seward Park Tournament last week. Beating Brooklyn Tech. Oh, snuck
Nah, you know why? Because um, I like to roam. If, if I could roam it back and forth on the tripod, that'd be different. I didn't want a back shot of this. Ow, that's in. That's in. Is that out? Take a look at the sideline. Got the Eagles here. <laughs> um, so how, how'd you guys do today? All right. Oh, so so. Five and three. Oh. Five and three. So we're third place with our fellow. You were wild, were you wild carded to play? Huh? Did you wild card play a match with Seward or somebody? Well, if Seward dropped a set, but he dropped a set too last. He should. Did Sue, let me ask you something. That second set, did Brooklyn win? Brooklyn Tech. Remember the set I walked out, I said I can't watch this shit because I already knew who was going to win? Yeah. She, she was too late when she didn't call timeout. If she called timeout at 24-23 and told Arkane, hey, we only need one play, let's do it here, let's do it, right? They wouldn't be doing all this, this play not to lose crap. Trust me, last year was, I had three games like that. We were up 24-19 and lost. I'm, McKe I'm on Newcomers and McKee. This year though, no, none of that. We had some injuries. Huh? Yeah. We, had some, we had some injuries somewhere in the middle of the season, but we had right. All of them, yeah. Both of them. Yep. They were nagging injuries. Like sprain, sprain wrist from an overswing. And someone turned his ankle in his eye. Both of them outside hitters. Both of them. And I run a two passer system, so that sucks. We played good against the Mountain Studies last week. We played okay. Against the Mountain Studies, we played okay. We played them last Wednesday. They won first game. We won second game 25 22. Right now, I, I put us at four. That, what? You don't blow your whistle if, unless you're sure. If you don't see it, don't say it. Be out there, be out there guessing. Yeah. Like, they asked me for a top ten, I put us at four. I think McKee and, like, McKee has at four and five. The difference was we played in five. In Staten Island, we won one. We won, we won center court at Staten Island, against Staten Island, and we won Cotton Hill we later made. All of the sets were decided by two except one, which we won 25 So that, 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 to me, that put us ahead. The only set that was not decided by two was 25 Twice, you know. I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't even like going there. I don't think you do. No, one no fuck. I'm in Manhattan. Well, my kids demand it. My, my kids, they worked hard all season. They, they wanted to go here twice. That's a thing. Uh, Kenny Matt's a hitter. They all stay at his house. So, them traveling is no problem. Me? Ugh. So, some interesting news this weekend. Um, Richmond Hill. Yeah. Oh, that's Seth Brown. That's one of my finals. That's what I was going and it has to be a bench of winner for Rosa, so, so who, who, who I picked for two and three? Change, change from so the right. Who do you have to pick right now? Like, what are the boundaries you're about to pick? Yeah, anyone. Those also be two. Dozo, I think, moved to two. Brian. But Dozo, I had Dozo at three. Because Brian played for Rosa, Brian won. But now, from this tournament, Cardozo won the tournament, and Richmond had to take Brian, but Jack's probably done. It might have been Brian Richmond. I 
have them at five. Oh, Josh has them at five. I had I had them at eight, but now they're going at six. Okay. Like consider what happened Thursday. That's in. No, but consider um like like volleyball. The Jeremy and I lost my right. I don't want to do the two weeks. So uh, Thursday I had Richmond Hill at eight, but what happened Thursday all the way up to Saturday has changed drastically. Like they upset Brian. Them? Yeah. Do them or them? Um. Uh, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn Tech, yeah. I had them at nine, but they might know Like, what happened Thursday? Mind you, this is before this. Thursday, at six and seven were Fort Hamilton and FDR. Fort Hamilton won at two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beating, beating Brooklyn Tech. So I knew they had to be ahead of me. Um, FDR, um, that night I was doing the rankings. FDR beating Fort Hamilton, so I moved them to seven. Plus, they won Hillcrest. They beat Aviation in the finals at Hillcrest. And they lost to us in the finals at the FDR tournament, so they're, they're up there. Yo, they're always, what are you we're ranking the team now? We're four. We went to three tournaments, we won two. You know what I mean? Sometimes fighting a good fight should not get you a top five ranking. Sometimes you gotta win, we gotta win a couple. Like last year, you guys won two in part, you guys should have been higher. That should have been eight and nine, should have been a discussion. I didn't win my division, I yeah. Even if you beat McKee in three in your division, that would have been enough. Yeah. Oh, everybody, everyone in the room would have, would have would, they wouldn't have expected anything less. The only long conversation was ten, one through seven. You as team teams to watch. I had you at 11. By 11, 10. I had you at you and aviation as teams to watch. But Josh Young had aviation at 10. So for me, I'm only going to do mine. Mine, one, two, three, four, and five, you would Six was Hamilton because they went to a part beating Brooklyn Tech. Seven, I had FDR because FDR won Hillcrest, finished second at the FDR tournament to us. Something. So, so that's um, six and seven. Eight, which we know, because they finished third at Cottonville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is before Cottonville, I would have had them um, So nine, I had Brooklyn Tech, because, everybody, because nobody respects them. They made the final. And ten, I had Bronx Science. Everybody is expecting them to play like the number two seed. And just because they're not number two does not mean they're not, they're not number two. And they got bad. They are four set of the smart and they got sneak over. And they're in the playoffs in every tournament. Right? Time goes they make playoffs, right? Cardoza had to play a, a first game because they were in the same pool as American Freddy. They showed me something too. Cardoza, that's the enemy. I was very impressed. Yeah. Josh puts me at uh, my team at four as well. He, jo Josh, uh, in a sentence, he says, "All I can, all I can, can all I can talk about. That's out. All I can talk about is." Um, Josh said, all I can talk about is who I played. He says, I played um, Hunter last Wednesday. They took a set from us. And the last two games, our bench is split. We, we took a set from each other. Games four and five. So, so he, that's why he put us there. He, he thought we were better than Richmond and better than McKee. I think McKee's solid. I think you guys just are, are, are hot and cold. <laughs> you know what the problem is, though, right? The seating meeting the first. I know. You knew that? I, was, I just found that out today. I, I, I knew that was probably what we were talking about. 
playoffs is too soon. I want to say, no, let's get ready for playoffs. But, you know, uh, let's not look at it. And then make somebody unhappy the second round. There's going to be somebody not happy because you guys haven't beat yet. There's going to be somebody not happy. It could be me. If they keep us in fourth and you play me, it could be me. You know, that'd be a revenge game from last year. Uh, that's why I wanted, like, the beginning of the season. I did try. I, you know, you know me. I agree. I scrimmage Nikki because last year Park tournament they lost the Sierra Park two, two games, 25, 23, and she just seemed depressed. So I said, Nikki. I said, um, I said, um, from environment. Oh, right. And I said, come play us. And she's like, what the hell do you, what's in it for you? What can you possibly have to, hope to accomplish by playing us? And I said, look, game one, we won't, we won't put it on max press. We won't record the game. Game one and two, I'll sit on your bench. Game one and two, you sit on my bench, coach my team, and I'll coach your team. And she's like, what can I show your team? I said, how to move their fucking ass. I said, I put them in, in the right position. You play perfect base defense in and out. And I put them in, in a position, if you don't hit it, it's going to hit you. But for these tips where these guys actually have to move a whole step, move your fucking ass. And I said, if you can do that for me, I will show your team service through formations. I will show the setter path of least resistance to the target. And everybody's happy. So I coached her team for two games, she coached me for two games. We played each other the next match and they almost, they took a set And I said, all right, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not, they took a set from us. Like, Jesus Christ. Big match this Monday, we play them at their house. They got permission from the principal to invite guests too. Yeah. Like Staten Island, that's one of the things I do like about you guys. You know, I mean, it is, it is a family friendly event. I mean, you go to Manhattan, they treat they treat KSL like a private like a private event. Unless you're a parent, you can't come to the game. Because they're stupid. There, there's no other reason except It's not like you know, there's some rude that's pretty good. But you heard that whatever happened they just done. Sometimes it's not a reason. Sometimes people are just stupid. And you know what they do? They sweep everything under the rug of child safety. So they're, they're, It's an excuse for security to be snob. Like if your glasses fell off, they think maybe a, p a piece will fall off your glasses and the shard of the glass will hit one of the kids in the eye. Yeah, child safety. Jesus. I think this kid comes next year. Everybody just kind of see who's going to make the mistake. Why do you think the Chiefs are going to They will, they are never the first ones to make the mistake. Yeah, I taped. I'm doing a documentary on our season, so. I have every single one of our matches on tape. Remember I gave you one. I think I gave you, I gave you tape against McKee. The Time Hole Tournament? Can I say something? The Time Hole Tournament? They only made three unforced errors. They made no service errors. Right? They got called for um, ball handling there twice, and they only hit one ball out. That's why they're so good. And that one set, that second set I just told you about, they made 26 digs. In a set, not a match, in a set. I was glad that I was glad that they made a solid defensive team. That's what they do. They dig, they dig like your hitter. So your hitter gets dug, right? So your hitter, your hitter feels like they have to do more. They put pressure on themselves to hit maybe a little bit more sharper on that angle, a little bit more yeah. higher. Now they're hitting balls out. And then when they try to keep it in, they get blocked because Mickey has a solid block. They close the hole. And that's how they win. They, they slowly pick you apart. And he slows down the game to a snail's pace. And then they win. After the Tonville tournament, she calls a lineup check, right? So she, was, she they said, okay, the next set is no. She's like, no, I need a lineup check for everyone. So the guy calls on every, every next player, and then she calls sub. But then after sub, she calls timeout. Then after the timeout, she calls lineup check again. I said, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. 
That should be on Swanson. The score was 7 We're up 22 17. After all of that, they made a 22 20. And I called, I called timeout because since the game was already halted, I said, do not let this woman, you know, have us looking the wrong way. This is one of those nervous, nervous tip games. Who's going to make a mistake first game? I'm taking this game because I knew it would be more um, or less predictable than if you have a game. I think, well, we, I think American Studies beat some Seward Park. They're, they're playing right now. Yeah. On point game too? What is she? Did she call lift? Yeah. Was Look at the crowd. I gotta see the crowd. <laughs> I think they win anyway, but uh, yeah. They teach you in referee school. Unless the ball goes through someone's hands, you don't call a ball. Game like this, I mean. <laughs> I went to the um, FDR tournament and I told the refs that the refs in training, they were doing a refs in training type yeah. thing. And I and Felicia was there and I told them, I said, you the kids the, the, I said, you the refs don't write the story, the kids write the story. You know? That's what I meant Yeah, you had to set set some standard, but yeah. they were so clean, that was that wasn't a double hook carry, it was nothing. It was it was it was a set. It was, that might have, I don't know. That might have cost him the game, dude. I don't know, like you said, I think Brooklyn Tigers win anyway, but I'm just, that, that, that's 24 23. We don't, we don't know that for sure. That's the thing, dude. Again, which team and how, how, how much they don't want to give up. Right now, they're running on full speed and friendly. Sitting there, so the same thing. She makes the right call. We still playing that game. <laughs> yeah. I don't like. I, I I'm not comfortable like in game situations too, where it's made about their rest. You know, the, old, the old saying is, if you don't know they're up there, that means they're doing their job. That she she's got she's got undivided attention right now. tournament this year, much less Seward Park. Hey, whatever. Good boy. The mid-season one turned out to be more competitive than the Seward Park. We're going to something like mid-level tournament, but 
Brooklyn Tech is playing good ball that tournament. Um, they were playing good ball that tournament, and it's cool. Serve choice. When in doubt, serve one, one to one. One to one. Yeah. yeah. Take the setter's court vision away. He's not watching the block. He's not watching the net. They still got their heads down, like they should have won the game. They have to, they have to, like you said, they have to unscrew themselves. I agree. Yep. Yeah. Injuries will happen. Back goes a half block. Yeah. 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 The down ref has to be able to, to remember. If there's actually an actual down ref in this game, she has to see if the back row attack, a front row attack, who's out of rotation. Well, receiving team, yeah. Yeah. Defending team. That's what I meant. That was the receiving. Serve received. That was the back row attack. Said it was back row when they on that job. They shouldn't be down on themselves. It's not like it's 24 5. It will be 24 5 if they're still doing that. Stop hitting the ball across the net like that. Lefty too. No, righty. Ooh. Uh oh. There we go. Here comes the tipping game. Oh, not them. Good. Why shouldn't? Oh, no panic. Oh. That line's tough to cover. I always tell my kids, if the set is inside, always jump in and go high cross, high cross corner. At least we could cover it, you know. And if someone... It's a replay.
Americans would be fighting people over that. College, everybody's the same damn height. <laughs> you know? You be the shortest guy here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you, you, the higher the level you play, the more there's someone your size who has, who has probably has a job. Nice serve. Nice serve. Nice serve. Okay. No, good. Very good. There's a serve. Nobody, something about Brooklyn Tech I watched the last three years, no, um, besides maybe McKee, nobody, def, like team blocking, nobody defends the four outside like they do. So yeah. Nobody defends the four outside like um, on team blocking like Tech does. Tech, you got McKee that does that pretty good. Um, and you'll, like, American State is you could probably, on a good day, you could have Casca by himself out there blocking. Yeah. But um, team blocking, and I played them a bunch of times uh, over the years, that they... They defend the, probably it's, I guess it's what they do in practice. A lot of the drills are defense against the four, so they, they fall into that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get them right side, you gotta attack middle, you know. I mean, why not? You got, you got most high schools, 75% of the game is going to outside. Yeah. Um, you're lucky, you're lucky if you have a strong guy. You're lucky if you have one. If you're lucky, you have the right side combination. I mean, that's, you know, most, yeah. there's barely any 6 2 teams. Josh has improved his team this year. They have a very, very good um, um, opposite. Yeah. Oh, a good athlete. A good athlete. They, you know what they need? They, they need their, their only weakness is their team confidence outside of the cast of others. Like those guys, when I'm not impressed with all of them have a chip on their shoulder by their ballers. But we showed the team they're not going to hit them in the mouth. Serval, you watch some shank balls and you watch him look look for Michael the Bell or that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened Like game two we beat him 25-22, but really it was it was like 22-15. We, we had it. They caught it, they caught it at the end. We did, and we have four guys that are jump serving too. Michael Casca right now is the only team, only guy on the team that has good four arms. You jump serve, you serve short, you serve heavy topspin. And, and if you keep the ball away from away from guys like Michael who, who, who did take the pace of the game as they continue to touch the ball more, you can beat you can beat them right away. Well even then you can't beat them though, but at least, no, at least, at least it puts you in a they, situation. They play your tempo. You want to play your tempo volleyball or your system volleyball. You don't want to play that. Oh, 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 nice. Whoa! I speak I speak for both of us, we play terrible. Josh and I will tell you that it was them at their worst playing us at our worst. We, we, stunk, up, we stunk up that gym on Wednesday night. You didn't talk, talk to you guys didn't talk No. We, we, no, we, we were not, no. Tottenville, we, Tottenville was a low for us, which is, I'm glad because um, I knew it couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Staten Island tournament, which we won, was, was good for us because Hunter... No, no, we needed to get that out of our lives early because we haven't won a tournament in seven years. So, like, as far as getting that monkey off our back, like that kind of nervous energy every time you're in a semis or a finals, good, we won one, now we, now we show we can win one, now let's get on with life, let's fucking win, like, you know. That's what I mean last year, was like, we're gonna win, let's go. That was Easter vacation. Everyone was aware. We, we won that tournament. Anyway. And we beat we beat FDR um, center court. It was the second time we had to go against the home team in the home tournament and, and have to win. 
And FTRs, I mean, they're nobody's bitch. They're, they're pretty feisty, dude. FTRs? FTR, Mr. Hill. The two team you don't mess with. Oh, actually, FTR, I haven't seen them, but I was like, there was like one tall middle yeah. tonight. Well, Richmond Hill has a uh, guy who was middle last year who's outside now, who is absolutely incredible. I put in my blood, I said, any college, any college team who is not looking for this team needs to go back to recruiting school. I've never seen a kid with so much raw potential, who's already good, which, but with raw yeah, potential, they get better. It's good to start with. It's not much more easier for a coach. I can look at eight seniors right now and tell you exactly how they're going to do in college, except for this kid from Richmond Hill. This guy is the freak. This kid can be, if I were a college coach, I would be, I'd be like, hey, whatever we got to do, man, give this kid some t-shirts or something. Mm -hmm. Were you ever offered? Huh? Were you, were you offered at the college coach? Was I offered? College. Uh, I coached City College for two years. Nope. I coached Baruch, Baruch College for one, and I coached City College at Technology. Yeah. City, uh, City Tech for three years. I built, I built that program. They didn't, they didn't even have a club. So, my best players out of City Tech were um, Eugene, my assistant coach, who met two years ago. He's um, Peter, who coaches All Stars, Shaved Head, um, and um, Patrick, Patrick Dietz. Who's the coach of Mount St. Vincent right now? She'd have a girl um, do the camera, do a video camera. I just missed that. Speaking of video camera. Danny, wherever you are, I miss you because I suck at this. 
saying that for my camera. I told you, there's a tripod. Yeah. But I could. You think I could tripod up here and turn it left and right? Yeah. All right, I'll turn. Actually, I'll do that for the final. Oh, if you're sticking around. You sticking around for the final? I'm scared of my division rival. I'm scared of environmental. They, they came to Tottenville to watch. They weren't invited. They came to FDR. They play. They're here. They're eliminated. And, they're, and they're, anyone that's sitting here and is still watching the game, they're not going to be bad forever. Anyone that obsessed with this sport is gonna, eventually going to be decent. <laughs> and we played them Monday. And no, nobody knows me better than that team. We scrimmaged them twice. Right, the last year, we scrimmaged them once this year. They took a set from us. Um, they took game one from us in the first, the first match. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So is this um, this is where the finals gonna be played? Probably. Oh, we just get Christian. Says this kid, this short Dominican kid, who's awesome. He's a junior. And he, came from, he, he came from Dominican Republic like a year ago. Yeah. And he's he, he's short, but he's a baller. And he hit, and he hits heavy handed. He's really little though. Yeah. But some of you guys have his discipline. Yeah. Yeah. They won a game 25 0. This guy throws 25 straight balls. He, he knew the team he was going against his dad, so he just mixed up some shots and. You and me, we could serve a game on, a, on an empty court with nobody there on the other end and probably not get 25 straight serves. He's 20. One. That's what. That's the only one thing. Like, why are you so, so good? Oh, nice. It's a nice drive, huh? That's a nice drive. So, oh that's a tough God. one. That's okay. She established it. That's a double. With all this, all this nervous energy, I guarantee you, you're, not, you're gonna see it again in two more plays. At least two more plays. You know it's weird? stuck up here, uh, my girlfriend. Josh, Santa court, um, finals are here? Yes. Yeah, but it is like, oh, well, true, Finals right now. It's uh, Fort Hamilton and Brooklyn Tech. Brooklyn Tech. Brooklyn Tech won their first game, 25-22, off a controversial carry call on the set for point game, and now they're up 23-21. It's game two. American Studies already put a whooping on um, on um, Seward Park, so they're just. I'm waiting for the finals. So. As far as dinner goes, I'm sweetie. I'm, you might wanna, <laughs> you might wanna not have it with me. <laughs> right, the finals haven't even, aren't even, haven't even come yet. It is.
great. I talked to him about the top 10 rankings. Josh gave him his top 10 rankings. And there's a lot of um, irises here, so there's a lot of volleyball politicking that actually, you know, um, I'm glad I came. But, you know, it's, it was really necessary for me to come. I can, I can hear you. That's a, such a safe shot. Oh, we got a free ball. 23 up. Go in the middle. Lefty. Gets blocked. Covered. Free ball. Outside. Touch. Did she just call it touch? She was so rude. She was like this. She was like this. Dances, right? The, the, the blockers the, do the dance, the one, two, three jump. They have the dance down. You gotta, you gotta hit a middle. Uh, uh, they use very well silent, uh, silent, uh, defense, yeah. silent bird with defense. Their best defense is against the four. That's what I'm saying. Their blockers are doing, they're doing the waltz, they're doing the, the three step. Yeah, the, um, step they're playing top, out. Big cross and yeah. then, uh, yep, you know Nora's gonna have Mountain in too. Like I'm impressed with the center back. Nora has him not cheating up. That's That's kind of that's, that's a lot of trust at every level. That's a lot of trust on your team. I agree. I mean, like, the fact that you can play your song and play your song so well, that's a lot of trust on your team. At, at every level, there's always cheat. There's always guys that cheat up, and you're right. The ones, the championship teams are the one. Like if everybody cheats up, the one guy that has to be honest. That one guy is six. Is six. High drama at Fort Hamilton High School. Jason DeBeas with. The our coach from Wagner, Larry Ng. 24-24. They're down one set to zero. I played one year of college. Then I played pro. Oh my goodness. The line was so open, in fact, they left him seam. He had seam in line, yeah. Ooh, golf dub, what a, what a, what a good heads up. Six twenty-five. The gym is silent. Is this twenty-seven cap? Iris, is there a cap? Twenty-seven. This is good. It's one play. Oh, going outside. That's a good call. He did net. And let's go, Hamilton. No cap. Oh, good. I think the ref would turn around and say no. I, I thought that's what she was saying. <laughs> oh. 
Heavy topspin, ball's passed. Going middle, cross no. court, another net violation. Is he gonna jump set? No. That ball's in. Good pass. Back set. Oh, off the block. Oh! I think I lost that on the camera. I think I followed that with my eyes and not with the camera. I'm getting a tripod. Let's go. Ball's 28-28. Down one set to zero. Free ball. Ball's dug. Back set. Going cross court. Got it! And now, it is 29, 28! High drama in Brooklyn today. Down one set to zero. Backs against the wall. Fort Hamilton serves. Going middle. Tip. Power dink. That was a double hit if I ever saw one. Back. 